How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome to another Let's Play to Learn video. In this video we're playing Pink Hour, a free game by Studio Pixel, which is the makers of Cave Story, a very legendary indie platformer game. So I'm really excited to play this game. I have played this before in the past. Uh, I am going to try to skip past this menu stuff here. Just kidding, I don't have a menu control. It looks like we're stuck. Uh, unless this does it. Nope, don't have a menu button. But really, I'm looking to just grab more in uh, like more inspiration uh, from platformer games, from linear platformer games, and anything by Studio Pixel, I'm sure, is going to give us a lot of uh, a lot of insight here because you can already tell just how basic this is, and yet it works, right? You can see the controls. I'm using a gamepad, and the controls to me feel like I'm actually moving this player where they didn't so much in Pixel Bear Adventure. And even though there's a black background and there's no actual parallaxing or anything like that, I still feel like I'm in this world somehow. I don't know how they do it. Oh, so it looks like I have three directions. I can shoot left, right, and up. And you can notice that my bullets will kind of just fade out a little bit, which is cool. It looks like it just has like an outline fade out and it has a little bit of like a, a flash as the first frame of the animation there. These are interactable, and I have a little dust particle when I jump, or when I land, actually. All right, let's go. The music's cool. Ah, oh, and we have a little damage modifier. Oh, that's cool. It looks like the tumbleweed actually does, or takes damage as well. Can we destroy these blocks? No. Return to game. Can I shoot downwards? I can't shoot downwards. Ah! Evil. How am I supposed to attack that thing? That's the only thing I don't like about games like this that only allow you to shoot in three directions. I like shooting in every direction, including diagonals. Um, but it's pretty classic style, right? Like this is pretty uh, typical for uh, those old school feel platformer games. And you can tell that the art is clearly inspired uh, from from there. I have to get really close. Oh, I died. Um, that's one of the things that I'm noticing influences gameplay, right? You can see here that, well, one, I don't have any ammo, so I can just, assuming I can, I have unlimited amount of these bullets, but I have to be really close to my enemy to kill it, like within 50 pixels, or maybe, maybe it's a little bit more, um, but I have to be really close, so if this guy's throwing rocks at me, which he was before, and I like how it throws the rock really slowly and then it explodes really slowly. It actually adds to the impact even though there's no screen shake. I actually have to get close to the enemy, so that's something that I want to take note of from this game already. And honestly, I like the simplicity of this game. Uh, because of the fact that it's so simple, I just, like, I just got destroyed by a tumbleweed. Um, because of the fact that it's so simple in terms of level design, it's allowed itself to just focus on playing the game like I don't really need to spend time like going over all this stuff although now because of the artwork being so simple I can just enjoy the level which is something that we're going to get more into oh I knew that was coming um as we make our own linear platformer game in the coming weeks here so it does actually look like there is some sort of camera object here when I actually look up I can actually move the camera up which I, I actually really like and same thing with the down motion or no that's actually triggered so that's automatically triggered whereas this is controlled by me that's interesting camera movement is a whole lot of your platformer game it's a whole lot of any game really you really have to have a good camera movement or just a good camera to get the motion you're looking for and I think a lot of games especially when they're starting out they don't know how to do that and I don't really blame them I think it's a little bit more intermediate to advanced to make a really good solid camera but for lucky for us if you're using construct 2 you can just add in the scroll to behavior and it'll look decent but when you actually linear interpolate it between the camera and uh, the player it'll look a lot better this however there is no uh, I mean I guess you can call it a lerp when I'm looking up and down it's probably what it is but um, there is no delay to the camera it's very simple. I like the simple transitions. I think that's the theme of this game. It's very simple, which is why I really like it. Now, is this a challenge or? All right, oh, Indiana Jones style. Go, 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 go. Um, safe bet? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have played this before, but I have not played. I don't think I've gotten this far. I haven't played 
uh, that long. I've actually been seeing this more and more in games. For me, this works fine, I guess, but I really do like it when uh, you can kind of see underneath it. So, yeah, you found the secret area, but where'd you go, right? <laughs> like, uh, okay, uh, I would kind of enjoy seeing that a little bit more, but all right, I got a secret life. And that one was obvious because you could see that there. But again, the simple, the simplicity of this level design allows us to have those gameplay elements. Go, 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 go. What I'm really just trying to say is, it's okay if your artwork is simple. You want it to look good so it can illustrate your point, but it's okay if it's simple because you're trying to focus on the gameplay. You're trying to make your game. You're trying to add in the paper that is seemingly bouncing over there. You're trying to add in the Indiana Jones, uh, you know, death ball that follows you. You're trying to add in the secret passages and stuff like that. And you're not really trying to worry about coming up with crazy complex gameplay just yet. You're trying to start from the ground up. I guess collecting the important document was very important. So I really like how this game kind of has this own menu screen here. Oh, there's our screen shake. Uh-oh, what'd I do? Ah, oh, boss battle. I think. Is this the grass? Um, yes, boss battle. What a surprise. Come on, boss battle. I know there's a free version of this game. I feel like there might be a paid version now that I think about it. And if so, it might be like $5. Uh, I don't remember. I'll have to double check on that and put a link in the description to it. But really, let me just play this boss battle. I really like how easy this is. I mean, I'm saying that now is jinxing me to die. But the easier the boss battle is, the more likely you are to like the game. And then the more likely you are to continue playing the game. Like, awesome, I just defeated the boss. I feel like a complete and total boss myself. Let me go continue this adventure. So that's something that I had to learn the hard way. Oh, wow. Um, make sure you're making your enemies and your bosses as easy as possible in the beginning and then let them gradually get harder. I'm sure you probably already knew that. You're probably like, Jeremy, this is the dumbest advice you could possibly give him. But it's, it's true. You know, make sure that everything is, is one to two kills or one to two hits to kill it. Uh, and make sure your boss is not terribly hard. When you do that and you do more of it then you're getting the experience to then make a harder boss you're getting the the feeling of how to make this game play correctly or how to make this balanced i haven't really been paying attention to the story here all right saved a game and teleport i don't know how i did that i just kind of set it and it worked oh let's see Can I skip this? Hmm, what should I do? You should clearly answer the phone because you're an intern. Obviously. Uh, is there more to this game? Excuse me, I'm a hoarder. Will you clean up my mess? No, I will not clean up your mess. Come on, skip. <laughs> Having trouble skipping this game. If you can hear the button mashing. but it's all torn up. Never mind. All right, question mark? Answer the phone. I guess we can classify this as a cutscene, and this is probably one of the first cutscenes I've really sat through uh, in, in our Let's Play to Learn. Uh, cutscenes are very simple to make, but obviously they take up time playing your game. So for me, uh, oh, we beat the game. <laughs> for me, uh, cutscenes need to be, they need to be very story driven and they need to really hit home and you need to really already be invested in your game to sit through a long cutscene since this was kind of i believe this was a free version of the game uh it, clearly there's not much content to it but it was simple and it was fun and i only died once and i had fun playing the mechanic i can see here that the jump is kind of ridiculous but not terrible the music's nice the art's nice so all around i really like this game and i I really suggest you play this game and you should play Cave Story, which is their their bigger game, which 
is just the craziest platform game you'll play and it's it's even more addictive and you can see where they're getting their mechanics from and how this all works uh that's really it i mean i really enjoyed playing this game i hope that the things that we talked about just kind of reassured you or even if you already knew them you just kind of understood uh what your game might be missing and how you can make it a little bit better thank you so much for watching this let's play to learn i'm jeremy alexander if you haven't already please like this video leave a comment below on other games that you want to see me play share this video and join our facebook group if you haven't the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time